Hey everyone, this is AVJV Gaming, bringing you guys episode number 44 of this journey to the Ultimate Ultimate Team. And as you guys can see up on screen, we're going to start this episode off by going into the trade pile and relisting some of these bronze items we had from the bronze packs we had in the last episode, guys. But in this episode, we will play three games as which will become a normal thing. And also, guys, I'm pretty much going to try to complete the series as quickly as I can. So I'm probably going to go and buy Messi and Ronaldo next week, and they will be joining us straight in the squad, guys. So um, in this episode, guys, as well, we'll play uh, three games, of, I think I've already said that, and we'll also have the question of the day, which I really do need your guys' help on. So, uh, I think we'll start with the question of the day, guys, and, um, so guys, the question of the day today is going to be, um, what sort of gold side would you like me to make? Because you guys can tell from the title that we are going to be doing some changes, and we're going to be selling some players, and uh, I need to know, what sort of team would you like me to make? So, uh, do you, I've been getting told a lot of recommendations currently. Uh, one was a 3-5-2 Bundesliga side with a lot of pacey players. Another one was a British Premier League side. Um, on my main account, guys, I use a 3-4-1-2 uh, Serie A side, so... I don't know, guys. You let me know what sort of Nash, uh, which formation you guys would like me to use, and also what sort of league side. So I've not used a Russian league yet, so maybe you'd like to see that. But let me know, guys, exactly what you guys are thinking, and uh, also tell me our formations that I can use. But our first opponent is pretty much got a British Premier League team with uh, the exception of Courtois, the goalkeeper from Belgium, and he's got Hazard over there, so quite a few Belgian players, a couple Belgian players, I'd like to say. But uh, you guys are going to see here a bit of play. As you can see, I clear the ball out quite nicely. It falls to his defender, and here Gustavo is going to find the ball to Gomez. However, it is intercepted in the process. And look at this guy from Hazard, an absolutely deadly run, and I just couldn't stop his Hazard. He almost had more acceleration than I actually thought, and I don't know if he had any uh, stat-boosted cards, but he definitely played unbelievably. And uh, you guys are going to see here with Robin going straight down the side, and I see his keeper charging out, go for a shot, and the keeper and the defender together combined actually make a great stop. So uh, trying to prevent me from scoring here, but a little bit of a turn from Mario Gomez. Going to go with the outside foot shot, and his goalkeeper was unstoppable. Uh, he was absolutely on fire, and he kept doing this thing where he kept drifting the keeper out slightly, and then putting him back in play. Now, I could have gone with a cutback, but I saw his keeper uh, slowly going back on himself, and I chose it to go into the far post guys along the ground keepers reaction time tends to reduce when it goes on the ground a nice tackle I felt over here but the referee blows the whistle and uh, it means that there is going to be a penalty kick now I will go show you guys the replay quickly because that one was actually uh, kind of something that confused me because I really didn't feel that was a malicious tackle however the refs have a different opinion in this game and they seem to be always against me now uh, I don't know about that guys but he will stand up with Hazard aim down the left and I went down the left however it was not good enough to stop it. Now, that was going to go take us into half time, which will be 2 1 to our opponent. And uh, stat wise, we had a lot more better stats, I'd say, with shot accuracy and just aiming on target. But then I went and did a little bit of an adjustment to the team. I said, you know what, we've got to get on a sub and bring on Mario Mandzukic, who I haven't actually used very much. And uh, I was thinking about maybe putting on Muller, but said, no, we'll stay with uh, Mandzukic for the rest of the game. He does get a nice through ball over there to Hazard, who will find the back of the net. And. Uh, this is something guys have not been understanding quite recently. I have no idea about gold squads and how uh, many people just utilize absolute pace and don't really go for fun in their teams. But I am going to change it up. As you can see guys, from my custom corner, we're going to go for a uh, pass to Ribery. Robin, a little bit of robbery teamwork and we'll find a goal over there to get one, I'd say, back in this game. And then here, Gustavo doing an absolute great thing to stay on side, barging out his opponent and uh, goes for that shot at the near post. However, Courtois saved that and that was unbelievable because I've seen his team with a season card and he has not done uh, such great stuff like that. But we will get a, a free kick here and this guy just kept putting players on the line. Goal Goal line players sometimes deflect the ball, which makes it quite difficult. But uh, as you can see there, guys, we just did a bit of a switcheroo and uh, pretty much tried to get his play off the line. However, the keeper did save it. And as you can see there, it's the full-time whistle and the full-time stats over there. I actually had much better stats, but I feel nothing. Stats don't really have uh, not too much to do with the game. As you can see there, we are probably most likely going to go down to Division 2 with the relegation. I'm hoping so we can uh, win the title in Division 2 and get 10,000 coins. But uh, my main objective, guys, is to win win probably the cups at the moment so uh, gold cup we're going to go and sell on the Bayern players as you can see here and one thing you'll notice guys is many of the players prices if you watch the trading videos uh, many of the prices have actually gone up but we're going to keep Robin and Ribery 
and sell off all the other Bayern players. Now, uh, one thing I wanted to say, guys, there's going to be a trading video out tomorrow with a trading technique. I think it's trading technique number 14 or 15. And uh, that one's going to be a really good one for many of you guys who like to do little trades but like to make mega profits and uh, very large profit margins. So hopefully you guys will be able to check that out tomorrow. But moving on here, guys, we're just going to go and sell on the squad. And I definitely, yeah, so going back to the question of the day, guys, if you can, leave down below um, the which whichever two... Uh, which sort of nationality or league team you'd like me to make and also the formation so it can help me out a little bit. But we're going to go now into the bronze uh, cup and I think it's the bronze challenge and I want to use my bronze team because they are really fun to use but finding an opponent is almost a nightmare in this thing. So uh, I was trying to find an opponent, found a, I think it was a French player and uh, his connection, he was just really bad. It was one latency so or red latency so not really going to play an opponent because I don't want to get lagged out of a semi-final or even a quarter-final just because of, because of my opponents. So I went and looked for a silver game here. And uh, this is going to be the funny thing, guys. Because no one was actually playing silver matches. And this is um, dead bang in the middle of 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So I had no idea why. But went back to the bronze team. And you guys will see here. Uh, my opponent didn't actually join the game. So hopefully these things can be fixed for FIFA, 13, uh, FIFA 14. sorry, And that will be very awesome. Because then we get to have some really good games. But uh, we do eventually find an opponent. And he is running a... 41212 Saudi team. So a Saudi Arabian team. I've actually not ever ever played these teams and neither have I used one. So uh, possibly might go and do that. But uh, I don't know. Maybe we could have a squad builder around those. But you guys are going to see a hybrid. But as you can see in the 14th minute, I was, he actually paused the game and I was half asleep. I almost went on to forfeit match and I almost did it by accident when I wanted to resume the game. So I went back into resuming the game. And you guys will see here with Brunt. We find a nice through ball over to Taylor. And uh, I've actually seen Taylor guys in this game thought he was not that great because he's got four star skills uh, but I really thought you know he's a fun player he was not really playing that well when shooting however that shot was unbelievable and his four star skills have become very useful now and I've started to use him a little bit more um, better but as you can see half time he had a bit more better stats and look at this from Taylor guys an absolute classy finish from the Shrewsbury, Shrewsbury man and uh, he was actually recommended to me by another YouTuber uh, I don't know if you guys have heard of LFC Luca 10 he actually recommended because he is a Shrewsbury supporter so as you can see over there we do get a third goal which was a deflection and then Riggs going for a shot which rockets off the um, crossbar and then Taylor over here a little bit of a nice play a few step overs bringing it in and they're going to just use a bit of dribbling and finding the back of the net to get his hat trick over there so he's a hat trick hero for this game and I think that was 4-0 over here and then Allen which is our center attacking mid we just go for a nice power shot and it finds the back of the net over there as well so very easy finishes from this team and I think it's 5-0 and then that's just not about the end of the game you guys are going to see here Brunt a bit of nice footwork over here a few step overs into a ball roll and then going into a shot which actually cannons uh, well actually comes off his uh, player's leg and somehow finesses itself into the back of the net which will give us the sixth goal of this game which is not too bad looking at the replay it was uh yeah you could just see a slight deflection over there so that's how the game did go and end so this bronze team is actually looking to be quite fun but 831 coins which is unbelievable i've actually not earned more than i think around about say 700 coins so far without a bonus or without those coin bonuses uh, so that's actually really cool we almost earned a thousand coins with uh, just one game so we're going to go now into I think it's going to be the silver shield as uh, I needed to get a few contracts with the bronze players and I decided you know we're going to go and open some uh, bronze packs because it saves us going and spending coins on contracts that could be 150 each and you never know as you can see there guys we get a fitness card now fitness cards are vitally useful because you never know when your players run out of fitness or uh, in the middle of a game they pull up on an injury so I went and got this, uh, these packs and I went and bought another pack which you guys will see here. This is a 400 coin pack again and we get a few Saudi players as well. So I'll actually store those guys in my club and we get the remaining contracts which we need. So that will be about that pack guys and now we're going to go into the silver shield and hopefully go into it with the uh, we've got our team over here which is a pro league team we've got a few nice players very pacey up front player especially in Ezekiel and he's a really not bad player I'd say I'd uh, love to put him in a squad with uh, maybe um, Oberfemi Martins or even um MNEK, but our next opponent has a team of the season. It seems to be a pro league with a British Premier League hybrid. A lot of uh, red non chemistry lines. However, he does get the 100 chem. And I think this is his right back over here, Klein. He goes with a few, a bit of a side around the 
defender who kind of was a bit rash on that challenge and uh, misses the ball completely and he does go and finish it off for a right back so a bit uh, impressive over there and Campbell here going to get a shot and it's going to fall to his player that will actually find the back of the net because my goalkeeper fell over my defender so uh, just one of those games I don't know I have these games where I I pretty much win, and sometimes I have these games where I just go on such a bad streak. So uh, it's kind of a mix-up, as you can see. Albright in here getting the Albright getting the ball, and uh, he will finish that off as well to give it. I think around about a 3-0 lead into half time, and this guy was dominating the stats. Basically, he was a really good player, and my silver team was just not performing. But then I went and changed around the formation to a 3-5-2, and straight away Vargas goes and finds the back of the net, put him as a cam, and he does the business over there. So uh, that's pretty much how this game ended, guys. I'll wrap this episode up here, because I need your guys' feedback for the next goal team, because I want to have a really good team for the next episode. So let me know, guys, about which team you think I should make. And also, guys, we're going to have Messi and Ronaldo very shortly, so uh, nothing to worry about over there. Uh, I'm Also, if you guys haven't checked out the Foothead link, which I have for this squad... Uh, check it out, it's in the description of this video, it's a foothead link, and uh, let me know guys, which one of those players would you guys like me to buy next as well, because I can make a team around one of those, so uh, leave that down below, but for now guys, I'm going to wrap up this episode here, so if you guys have enjoyed the episode, please do drop it a like and subscribe, and uh, you guys can see some of the profit I made up on screen, which is some really nice profit, uh, even on some of the players that I bought really cheap, like this Gustavo for 800 coins, and uh, sold him on for 5,500, and uh, I think that's going to wrap it up here guys, so yeah, we're going to hopefully be on 300,000 coins for the next episode and then make a new team. So this has been AVJV Gaming and I'll catch you guys for the next episode.